What's up, YouTube? Appreciate you coming on this beautiful walk with me. I want to talk about a couple of things that's been on my mind. Not sure how long this video is going to go. Um, one thing that I want to talk about is how brainwashed we humans can become if you're not careful. And how a lot of us are so brainwashed and maybe some of us are starting to realize it and maybe some of us aren't. I'm a student of history. One of my prayers ever since I was a young boy was to know the true history. It's been a, a journey that God has taken me on and I've seen so much and learned so much. I don't know if you guys have been watching the Candace Owens episode find a place to sit down a lot of sun um, I've been watching it it's been quite enlightening the whole Kamala Harris thing you know what's interesting I have a friend who's Finnish you know from Finland she told me that Kamala in Finnish means horrible Kamala in Finnish means horrible I think that names mean a lot I do but that's not what I want to talk about but Candace Owens, what she said, uh, she was talking about a gentleman by the name of Edward Benet. And he was, uh, I don't know if he was a cousin or a brother-in-law, but he had, he's somewhat, he's, he's related to Sigmund Freud. You know, the famous or the founder of psychology as we know it in the Western Hemisphere. Where should I go? I'll go this way. Um... And about Edward Benet, because, you know, I've been a chef more than half of my life so far. So I was really into food. And Edward Benet, um, he is responsible for the American diet, uh, specifically the breakfast that we consume. So he put out some information in a way to make people think that eggs and bacon or ham and bacon, whatever it was, to eat that in the morning was a good standard breakfast. And I don't have the details on how he did it. I don't recall at the moment, but I know this is accurate. And now you see a bunch of people that when they had breakfast in the morning, that's mainly what they get. And in every restaurant or the majority, Right. Keep, keep in mind, I worked in hotels. I worked in fine dining. I worked in casual dining. I worked in fast food. I worked as a private chef. I worked in school cafeterias when I went to Penn State. I worked in that cafeteria. Right. I went to one, two, two culinary schools. I went to Job Corps for culinary. Been all around food my whole life. And I always been health conscious, so I always looked at it from two sides. The sides that I was being taught from uh, my teachers and my instructors. And then I looked at it from the side that my beautiful parents had taught me. Always read the labels, always look at ingredients. If it has 50 ingredients in it, you know, I'm exaggerating, but not really, then don't eat it. It's not food. It's a science project, right? So with that type of mindset, I was able to get a good uh, take on what is really going on. And uh, this shade over here, I like this. Let me sit down. Sometimes there's rattlesnakes up here. So I'm to be careful. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um... Yeah, so now you see the majority of the people eating bags and aching. And if somebody doesn't eat bags and aching in the morning, you know, he, I won't say you might think that's strange. But at one point in time, people say, you don't eat bags, you don't eat aching, bacon, eggs, eggs have protein, ham has this, ham, you know. Uh, and they don't really look at what, what they're doing because the reason why they're doing this is because they're brainwashed. And I know that's a harsh word. 
And I, I don't want you to get offended if you eat that. But I really want you to understand what I'm saying. Look, I'm not perfect, y'all. I made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I'm able to face them. I'm able to look at them and I'm able to rectify them and not make them again. And I think that's what makes me different than most people. Um, the majority of people, you know, I'll say about 80, eight, about 80 percent just follow and 20 percent, you know, are, are really uh, starting to open their eyes. But what's interesting, so Sigmund, uh, Edward Benet, right, related to Sigmund Freud. Then I realized, I found out that um, the founder of Netflix, the founder of Netflix, that he is actually related to Edward Benet. So it's interesting because Sigmund Freud, right, the father of psych psychology, the human mind, you know, if you put something on the TV enough, and repeat it enough, people are going to start to believe it. Believe it, even if they know it's a lie, right? Talk to any music producer, any m music uh, owner that owns a big music studio. They tell you, you put the record on enough, 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 even if it's horrible. How do you think we get all these stu stupid songs out there? How do you think we can have songs out there where people are literally talking about killing other people, and we're bumping our heads to it, talking about, yeah, he's nice, yo, he got lyrics. Think about think about that. We're brainwashed. If you're still listening to rap where they're killing, they're talking about killing people, where they're talking about selling drugs, I don't care how metaphorically nice it makes sound, how um, how good the road play is, right? It's poison. If you're over there arguing, talking about healthcare, we need more healthcare, blah, 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 and you're drinking liquor, which is literally poison, literally, poison is poisoning your body that's a form of brainwash that's a form of brainwash i don't care how you feel about it i don't care how socially accepted it is we don't know we we can become programmed easily this is what the um not the co-founder i think he might be the co-founder of the rural form the rural economic forum it's not klaus swabs but it's his the guy's second in charge who is, um, he's gay, and uh, he said that humans can effectively be programmed, right? And he had a lot of bad things to say about humans. Um, we got to do better. We got to get out of these, these uh, um, um, mind stakes. And the way that we do it is we put down the very things that are enslaving us. Your TV is enslaving you. Your music is enslaving you. Your thoughts are not your own thoughts. You might think they are. You're going to fight me on this. I don't got a lot of time. I got to make room in my phone. I'm going to make more videos today. But I got 15 seconds left. So I'm going to finish this conversation. But think about what I said. Think about what I said. Do, do your research. I'm, I'm going to get back to you later on today. Peace.